Hi, this is Sharon. Here we are in the month of November 2012, and I am happy to say I'm here to celebrate the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday, which is just around the corner. It's actually next week for us. So I just want to say, first of all, happy holidays to you all. And I am still in remission since I had my last checkup. Um, since being in remission, I've had that three-month checkup, and my numbers, my CA-125 numbers, have only arisen by about two points, which is phenomenal, folks. So from 11, which put me into remission, to I am now at 13. Now, you're probably saying, why is she excited? Because they're going up. Well, yes, they're going up, and there's been lots of debate about what those CA-125 numbers mean, but for a lot of the oncologists specializing in that field, it's more of a gauge, and it's not so much as to how high the numbers get as to how rapidly the numbers are getting there. So, I am totally ecstatic that it's only a 13 in three months. Uh, I could have been in three months, I could have been at 42 or 47 to give you an idea. But this go round, it's only 13 from 11. So gives you an idea. And uh, so that's why I was excited to have the radiation done. The radiation uh, was uh, utilized to treat my lymph nodes in my lower pelvic region. We had such a great result two years ago when I had two para-aortic lymph nodes up here, which is like up here but under the breast tissue there. Um, I had 33 treatments for those as well with radiation. And in two years time and subsequent scans later, there's no sign of those lymph nodes having returned. So that was good. And since uh, I did have a really severe reaction to the uh, cisplatin is what I used prior to this recent radiation treatment. That's when they decided to say, okay, you know, she's got three new lymph nodes that are in the lower pelvic region this time. They came in the lower pelvic region. So we're going to try to go ahead and use radiation on those lymph nodes as well since we had such great results with the upper lymph nodes that she had two years ago, which never came back. And so right now, it seems to have done the trick because I'm still in remission. So um, basically, I just wanted to say that I had people, the reason I'm here today is number one, I've had a lot of people say, okay, I've heard that ovarian cancer patients or generally not treated with radiation. So I've gotten a lot of feedback and a lot of questions about that. So that's why I'm here today is to just explain to you my case as to why I was treated. But yes, you all are right about that. And that's usually because when ovarian cancer is manifested, by the time it's discovered generally, it's usually just in the latter stages like 2A, 3 Four. And in light of that fact, that could mean that a lot of other areas in the abdominal region were involved, meaning it's a broader area of concern to have to deal with. It could be in your peritoneal cavity. It could be in your um, uh, intestinal tissue. So imagine all your intestines are twisted like they are. And then imagine just something as nasty as cancer getting caught up in all of those crevices of your intestines. So usually because ovarian cancer involves a whole lot of other areas and it's spread, it could spread to livers, to spleen, to lungs. It's almost just not a good idea or it is not a very effective way generally to treat ovarian cancer. Now, mind you, I'm not the authority on this. This is just from my understanding of my experience. But generally, this is the case. So, basically, I was, I have to say, fortunate in the sense that my lymph nodes enlarged. That's how we were, that's how we determined that 
my cancer was coming back because for whatever reason at this time, this point in time, my cancer shows up in my lymph nodes. Uh, all in the abdominal region, which I assume or presume is a good thing. Um, and it also gives us a direction to point towards as far as attacking the immediate source of cancer at that time. So for me, radiation was a clear idea, particularly since I did have a reaction to the chemotherapy that I was utilizing at that time. So I was really thankful. I was like, oh, good, I don't have to do chemotherapy because it makes you feel so tired, exhausted, like you have the flu. <laughs> but anyway, so that's why there are some instances um, that you could possibly treat uh, ovarian cancer with radiation. So for me, we, we directly attacked my lymph nodes. So through a, it was kind of like an x-ray, which was the skeletal, uh, picture of my body and then a PET scan which takes a picture of the soft tissues of your body these two things the PET scan is laid on top of the x-rays the skeletal frame and through looking at those lymph nodes on my PET scan the radiation can literally be pinpointed right in that area and destroy the DNA cells of the cancer growing in my lymph nodes and I think that's why the lymph nodes that were treated two years ago up here have never come back radiation does destroy tissues and so that's what I was hoping happened and that's what looks like happened so this is why this might be an option uh, you've been asking um, there's that possibility but you have to have that honest honest discussion with your doctor about it and that's why one day I hope I can get my doctor to have an interview and to just discuss ovarian cancer with you interested parties out there. She's awesome, but she's so busy saving lives. I hope I can do get her or convince her to just take a few minutes of her time. And now you would love to to meet her and, and to uh, hear her explanation about it. She's very upfront and honest, but that's a good thing because you always know where you're standing in the fight with the cancer and I appreciate that although as scary as it may be I appreciate that so nevertheless there you have it um, there are times that can, the ovarian cancer can be treated with radiation mine involved my lymph nodes they were directly attacked by radiation and thus uh, destroyed the cancer growing inside them so have that discussion with your oncologist or interested parties about that if you think that's an option, I know some of you said, what should I do? I don't give information as far as what I think you should do, but I just give you information from my experience and then hope that you will find something in there that you can utilize. So I hope you all enjoy your holiday. Um, I hope I've answered some of your questions and uh, I will talk to you the next go around. In the meantime, have a happy Thanksgiving and God bless. Bye-bye now.